Jason from Makera here with another Makera Cam tutorial. And in this one, we are talking about stock and materials in Makera Cam. Now, one of the first things you wanna do whenever you start a new project is to adjust your stock here in the stock window. And it will remember your settings from your previous project. So this is a new document, but in my last project, I used aluminum that was set to this size and the Cam program will remember that. I can of course adjust this by clicking the edit button and I can select from preset materials here like so, so I can change this to let's say carbon fiber and I can adjust the size. Maybe I'm using a 300 millimeter by 200 millimeter by three millimeter piece of carbon fiber and I can press okay. Now the options that you have here in your material library can be adjusted or changed in the material settings. So if we go settings and go to the material library, we can see all of your options that you have. And if you'd like, you can adjust, let's say the order by moving up or down. You can change the little image if you want to, you can change the name. You can also duplicate and add your own materials. So for example, I might want to add foam. So I'm going to call a new material foam and I'm going to import an image and then click apply. Now, when I go to adjust my materials, I have foam as an option. But adjusting your stock parameters here doesn't only change your actual border for your design, it will also change when you're working with your bits. For example, I've set my stock back to carbon fiber and I imported a simple design file to work with. Let's go ahead and create a contour toolpath on this vector design file. And I'm gonna go ahead and change my tool. Now you'll notice if I go and if I select a corn bit, which would be appropriate for carbon fiber, Carbon fiber will automatically be selected as my tool properties with the correct feeds and speeds and everything for this material. Likewise, I'm just gonna click calculate here and close this. Let me change my material to let's say aluminum and let's edit this path. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select a tool for metal, so I'll go to metal I'll click on this tool and you'll notice that aluminum is already highlighted because these materials and these parameters match what I've set to be my stock. Now, if I have a material that I don't have tool parameters for, like for example, the foam that I just created, when I go and I select my tool, there won't be a parameter to correspond. So for example, if I just click a non-metal something like this, it just goes to whatever the first parameter is because foam is not an option here. But what if I wanted to add parameters when I also add my stock? Well, what you can do is go into your tool library, go to either an existing bit or add a new bit, like let's say for example, this 42 millimeter end mill here. I'm gonna edit this tool and you'll see that under the tool properties, all of the materials that we have available in our material library are listed, including the new one that I created, but they're not all enabled. So for this bit, we can see that it's compatible with these three materials from within the tool library, but I also know that it would work fine with foam, the one that I've added. So I can enable this. I can adjust, let's say my step downs and my feeds and my speeds and everything to correspond with this material and click apply. Now that I can close this, I'm gonna go back into our contour processing. I'm going to select that tool that I've just adjusted with my material and we'll see that foam now lights up. So there we go. Not only do you want to adjust your stock size, but choosing the type of stock as well as adjusting your materials will all correspond to a better workflow with setting your feeds and speeds based on your stock, material, and tool choices.